What is up guys and welcome back to Gage One Up and in this video I have a plan. Steven, Carter, and Lizzie Share have had a problem with a monster in their pond and they've been trying to hunt it down and they've been trying to capture it but they haven't been successful yet. And we've also had eggs in our pool and they've hatched and I'm pretty sure there's a monster roaming around here somewhere but I'm not sure. So my plan for this video is to try and make a device or a blaster or something to hunt down and or capture the monster. And then after we get everything built, we're gonna try and test it and see if it works. The blaster I wanna use is this one right here. This is the double breach. And I like this one because it looks powerful and it looks like it could totally hunt down a monster. And I also have a scope for better aim that we're gonna put right on the top. Okay, here's my plan. I have a couple different methods I want to try and see the monster with. So we're gonna get a bunch of different flashlights, like black lights, flashing lights, just normal lights, red lights, a bunch of different stuff like that. I also wanna get a fishing rod. We have a fishing rod here, but it's too big and clunky. So we're gonna go to the store and get a kid's fishing rod. Since it's smaller and more lightweight, so we can run around with a blaster faster. And then I also want to try and launch a net so that we can capture the monster or something to distract the monster with. And I'm pretty sure we have a tennis ball launcher here somewhere, so if we get like a bright red ball we can put in the tennis ball launcher, I think that'll work. And I also want to get a little bucket for bait that we can put on the side of the blaster so that, I don't know, so that we can lead it towards a place and then trigger a trap or something. I guess we're just going to have to see what we can get, but we don't have all the stuff here, so let's go to the store. I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, look, grab an orange fishing rod right there. Oh yeah, this should work. Yeah, and it's gonna match the aesthetic of like an orange Nerf blaster too. That would be awesome. We have some bright lights here, and it looks like they have a clip so we can clip it on the Nerf blaster. Ooh, those look perfect. Yeah, those are nice and bright. Oh, nice, right here. It's only $5 to get these USB LED lights. It looks like they're color changing. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Luke, we found the jackpot. So let's get two of these that we can put on the side of the blaster. Okay. And then let's also get that, since that also has a white light and a red light. So we can, can switch. See. Lunch bags. Oh, yeah. This is what we're gonna use to put the bait in so that we can lure the monster somewhere. I don't know. Awesome. You ready to go hunt down the monster with the blaster? Wanna go see if we could capture one? This is my plan. I wanna get our Nerf blaster and then I wanna get our fishing rod and put it on the side so that we can lure it with this little toy here. And I wanna see how well it works. Uh-oh. Then we also have a tennis ball launcher that we can use for pretty much anything. We can use it as distractions, we can use it. We can use it to blast bait out of it. And speaking of bait, we can use this lunch bag that we got that we're gonna also put probably right by this thing right here. And that's gonna hold our, all of our bait. Then we also have some lights to see if we can spot the monster and we have a couple different ones. We just have normal white lights like these. Then we also have some red lights. We also have this one which is both red and white lights. We're gonna use some flashing lights to see if we can maybe scare away the monster if we need to. We also have some LEDs with a battery pack and a remote to change the color of the lights which is pretty handy. And we also have some black lights and I will explain what we're gonna do with these later. First order of business, we're gonna put on some of the smaller lights onto our scope. Pretty simple, just stretch it over the scope, like that. There we go, just like that. And then we're gonna do it with all of our lights, then maybe even the headlight. Now that we have the lights on our scope, we're also going to put this headlamp on our scope. And there we go. Now we got our scope on there. We have the other two lamps. Think that looks good, Luke? Yeah. Now that this is done, we're gonna put this right on there. Now we're gonna put the fishing rod probably right there. There, it's perfect. So we're just gonna tape this on and just set that right on there. That looks good, Gage. Thank you. Green sarcastic. I know. Okay, now that we have that part done, we're gonna make sure we get it behind the line. 
Don't want to tape the liner or else that would be a disaster. Make sure not to cover the barrel so we can blast it. Ready for a test loop? Yeah! Yeah, it works! Next up. That was tennis fun. ball launcher. We're gonna do the same as the fishing rod, just tape it on to this side. So, we have floodlights. Lights on our scope. And we have LEDs. We have a working blaster cannon. Got it. And we also have a working fishing rod. So far, it's pretty good, but we're forgetting one thing, black light. So for the black lights, what we're gonna do is I have these, they're outdoor floodlight holders. These will help keep the black light in place. Okay, then we're just gonna like attach it? And yes, but as you can see, it has a plug-in cord. It doesn't have a USB, so we can't use a battery pack, or not at least ones that are really cheap. So I went out and looked at our casita, and I found a really old car battery pack. It's like an emergency battery pack. And since it's pretty small, but it's really heavy, we're gonna use this awesome backpack. I'll help you. Oh, hold on, hold on, I got an idea. Okay. Don't have all the weight rely on that. Oh gosh. Okay guys, so we did have to improvise a little bit. We got the battery into a new backpack because the other one was too small and we just caught a little slit right here and you can zip it up and no one will notice. So now we have it in the backpack. It is a little bit heavy though. But the one thing that we are still missing is bait. Not the ham. One more thing. Is he trying to make a whole breakfast, people? There. Okay guys, now that we have our bait and everything, now we're gonna go outside and test it out. Thumbs up this video if you like the flash. Oh yeah. Okay guys, we're out here, and we have everything we need. We have our fishing line. That actually works. Awesome. What else do we have? We also have our bait launcher right there, and we also have just a normal Nerf blaster. First thing we're gonna test out, we're gonna use the Mosasaur toy that we used to prank Lizzie Sharer, and we're basically gonna test all the things that blast. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay. invention, Gage. That's fine. It's time to test this thing out. Three, two, two one. one. Yeah, so the Nerf Blaster works. So now we're Ch gonna test. test the fishing line. Actually, I just thought of a better test. What? Why don't we test this on blue? Okay, puppers. So we got the puppers here. Ready? Oh, he's it going works. for it, he's going for it. it. He's going for it. It works, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good okay, boy. So we know the Nerf Blaster works and the fishing line works. Now it's time to test out the bait launcher. So we don't know what it likes, so first we're gonna try out the banana. Okay, now it's time to load up the banana. Quick and easy. Now let's test it out on our fake monster in our yeah. pool. Ready, Lou? Yeah, three, two, one. <laughs> 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 did it, it like destroy the banana? It didn't work. That didn't work. Maybe it was too heavy. It did like destroy the banana. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say that it was too heavy. Right, next up is the orange. Do you think this is gonna work, Luke? No. Comment <laughs> comment, <laughs> com comment down below. Comment down below. Do you think this is gonna work? Yes or no? Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, it so worked. That worked. I missed, but it worked. Ha, your face. <laughs> face. Okay, next up, the lime. I think this one's gonna work since the orange worked. Three, two, two one. one. I missed again, but still works. Look That's at, a good sign. Look at how close it is to the orange. Wow, next up, we're gonna try some cashews. Don't use all the cashews, I love those.
Okay. So this is just like a spread shot. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Cashews. Cat cash cashews. You just need to just. Monsters oh, dealt that with. Monsters dealt with. That worked. Okay, next stop, it's time to test out all of the lights. But since it's light out, we're gonna have to go down in our base grit. Base, base, base. Wait, wait, base. base. We're going we'll, down. We'll be right we're back. going. We'll we're going to go back. down to our basement and then test out all the lights. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we are back inside, and I don't have enough space, so I'm just gonna take this off right here. Hold on. Oh, so heavy. Anyways, now it's the time that we turn on all of our lights and see how it looks in the dark. Are you ready, Lou? Yeah! Three, two, one. All the lights going on right now. We're gonna have all of these red lights, then we're also gonna turn that on. Oh, the anticipation is crazy. We're gonna do that one green. Okay, now it's time. Oh, black light, almost forgot about the black light. And here goes the black light. Whoa, it looks so futuristic. Okay, starting to turn off the lights in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Pick it up, dude. That is insane. Whoa. That looks That's so cool. Awesome. That definitely like it could stun and capture the monster. Yeah, this thing is awesome. We could definitely hunt for the monster with this. Okay, now let's see each light individually. Now let's just do the red lights. Whoa, Whoa just the red is crazy. Okay, next up, we're gonna try all the white lights. Ready? Getting everything nice and bright. And we can also turn this one white. Ta-da! Wow. So bright! Wow. I, think, I think next up we should do the LED, dude. The Just LED the LEDs, shirt. and then yeah. we could do it like a rainbow and stuff. We know. have all these lights. I don't know if you can tell, but this is super bright. It's really, really bright. Okay, next up, we're gonna test out all of the colors on this. Man, that's crazy. It's like wow. all the colors on the rainbow. That's awesome. So now you can have all of those. And you can also have it so it's color changing. Like you're getting bright and then dark. Whoa. So it like flashes a bunch of different colors. Wow, that was party. <laughs> Next up, we have fade. This is awesome. It's changing throughout all the colors of the lights and all the different colors of the LEDs. And then we also finally have this one is just like the strobe, but it's changing throughout all the different colors. This is crazy. We could totally hunt down a monster with this. Anyways, guys, I think this is an awesome success, and I think we could definitely hunt a monster with it with our bait launcher, our fishing rod, and our nerf blaster, and all these awesome lights. But we only tested it in this video. If you want to see this thing in action, go check out Carl and Ginger, where we test this out and hunt the monster with it. Anyways, click any of these videos on the screen to subscribe or watch more, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.